In this video, I want to talk about one thing that is essential that you must have down, and it's an internal thing that's very powerful if you want to draw the women uh, that you really like into your life. And most men have this wrong. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to give you one technique to help you shift this area of your life. So let's dive in. What I want to talk about is your self-image, your internal self-image, but I want to talk about it in a specific way. I've talked about this before, but not in this way. And this one idea is really important and powerful. And that's that if you, your internal image, when you shut your eyes and you picture yourself talking to the women of your dreams, the women that you really like, if you are smaller internally, if you are less than internally, if you feel heavier than the women that you're picturing in your mind, like they're bigger energy, they're bolder than you, they have more value than you, you will not be able to attract those women. You see, the women you'll be drawing into your life are women that you feel like you're as big or bigger than on a self-image level. If you feel like uh, you want to date these women that you perceive as an 8, 9, or 10, or whatever, whatever your 8, 9, and 10s are, and you see them as up on this pedestal, and when you shut your eyes, or you see them as a bigger energy, or having more value, or, or that they're going to give you value, they're going to bring value, this is a big one, they're going to bring value to your life by being in your life, and make you more uh, valuable as a man, those women aren't going to like you. They're not going to come into your life because women are drawn to men that have the same level of value as them or greater. They don't want men that have less value than them. That's not their job or their role as the feminine. Think about it in nature. If you have a tree, the tree trunk is the grounding, stable element. The branches and the leaves express energy. So the branches and the leaves are an expression of the tree, but you've got to have this stability, this solidness underneath. And that's your role as the masculine. Your role as the masculine to be able to draw truly feminine women, if that's what you want, is to be that grounding, stable force, that representation of internal stillness that allows women to express out and go free. And then they want to give you their femininity, their light flowing energy to fill you up. And it feels amazing to a grounded masculine man. Now, if you're a really feminine guy and you want to be that flowing energy, you're going to be looking for a more masculine woman that is that grounding force. And it's a, it's a little different principle, but most men are actually happiest being the grounding force with a, with a woman that's being more the feminine flowing force, this, this balance. So you've got to get this internal image straight. You've got to take a deep look at it inside at what your internal image is in relationship to beautiful women to be able to uh, really make a fast shift on your life. I've seen people, literally men, go out and shift this area, start changing their internal self-image, and suddenly with no dating techniques at all, they start getting dates, they start getting sex, they, start, they meet the girl of their dreams because they're no longer, at this point, chasing the girls for validation. Hear that again, no longer chasing the girls for validation. They're saying, I feel good. Do you wanna come join me? Do you wanna hang out with me? And so what I want to do with you right now is I want to invite you into taking a look at what your internal self-image looks like in relationship to the beautiful women that you want to date. Not every woman, specifically the beautiful women that you want to meet. And everybody has a different idea of what's beautiful too. I've seen some guys say that this girl is beautiful and they get super intimidated and other guy's not attracted to her at all and he walks right up and starts talking to her and it's no problem. But then he sees that same guy that walked up that girl sees this other girl that he thinks is beautiful and suddenly he shrinks. Now you can reach a point where you look at these women and you think they're fucking beautiful and they're amazing, but you don't shrink. You see yourself as a compliment. Like, yeah, I'm a sexy bastard. And we talk about the sexy bastard meditation here. It's in my book. And I'm a sexy bastard and you can come join me because I know you're a beautiful, sexy woman and we're a great compliment to each other. And that's what I'm talking about. If you can master that, then you can take everything to the next level. So let's take a look at this internal self-image and let's add this new element to the sexy bastard meditation, making sure that you as a sexy bastard see yourself as good or even uh, stronger in your internal self-esteem than the women you wanna date. We need to take a direct look at this. So before we do, I want to uh, remind you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe to the channel. That's so powerful and it's such an uh, 
important step for us in growing the channel to the next level. We're trying to get that 100K subscriber mark. Also make sure to share because it helps us to grow the channel. Make sure to uh, like the videos and make sure to uh, give us some comments. Uh, we definitely love your comments. We're always checking your comments out, going through them and seeing what you guys want more of. So with that said, let's dive in a little bit deeper. So I promised you that I would give you a technique to shift this area of your life. But the first thing we got to do before we do that is I want to have you take a deeper look at what's going on inside of you. So I want you to go out where there are beautiful women that you are insanely attracted to. It could be a bar, a club or something. And I want you to notice how you're being. Notice how big their energy. Women are, tend to be a big energy, right? Especially uh, when they're being flowing and they're dancing with the music and there's all this energy coming off them. Notice if your energy, if you feel smaller than them, if you feel like you're shrinking in the room, are you a wallflower against the wall? When you walk up to them, are you bringing energy, as much energy or more to the, to the communication? Or are you shrinking your energy? Then I want you to just notice that. And then I want you to sit down and kind of close your eyes for a minute. So look at a girl that you think is really hot, close your eyes and then picture how you see yourself. And write it down. Take a little journal, write it down. Notice how you see yourself. Do you see yourself as smaller than her? And I'm not talking about state pumping. A lot of you guys will state pump and yeah, I feel myself as bigger than her. No, when you relax all the state pumping, when you relax all the telling yourself you're good enough, all the pretending to be confident, what do you naturally do? Describe it. Do you have a, what, what does your internal image look like? Is it, are you smaller than her? Is it in black and white? Are you pulled back? Do you feel heavy inside? What part of your body do you feel heavy in? Start to notice this stuff. It's so powerful in shifting this area. And remember, drop all that telling yourself you're good enough and just report the details. Be really honest about what you feel. Then I want you to go home after that and review it again in the silence. Sit in the silence and look at yourself. Notice, do you feel heavier after going to the bar and doing this? Is your energy shrinking more? Are you shrinking down? Are you tacking yourself? Is there, what are your thoughts? Are there self-abusive thoughts going on? Journal all of this. Get an internal image of what's going on inside, okay? And that will be so powerful in getting in touch with this. And then when you've got the picture of what you look like and feel like, also write down how you see these beautiful women, you know? Is their energy huge? Are they dancing? Do they not care? Do they not care about you? Do they not? Do you feel like they don't notice you? They don't look at you? Do you feel like they're, well, they're, they're really into that guy? I can see he's got a big energy and they'd be into that, but not me. And you got to be really honest about this. See where their energy is going. How are they using their energy to pull on different men they like in the bar? And start to notice that. And then notice again where you fit into that category. Are you just the guy in the back of the room? Some guys can be very bold, but they're heavy. They're like forward, but they're like analytical. Notice if that's you. And behind that analytical nature will be more energy around your self-esteem, more feelings that you probably don't want to feel. So if you drop that, what do you feel? And this is all just to help you get in touch with the image that you're creating of yourself and women. The next step will be for you to start to change this internal self-image a little bit at a time. It's not going to happen all at once, although I'm not going to say that something like that couldn't happen. Anything's possible. So I'm going to invite you into the idea of starting to do, if you know how to do revealing, starting to do revealing on these images. Meditate, reveal, and start releasing all of the stored stories out of your body. The images a little bit at a time every day. Give yourself a period of time, a month, two months, three months. And the goal will be to get that internal self-image naturally without forcing to be as big or bigger than these beautiful women to where your heart's blasting open in these environments, to where you feel really good about yourself. The next thing I'm gonna invite you to do is start doing the sexy bastard meditation with this deeper level of understanding. And this is the technique I want you to work with. I want you to work with the idea that if you take even 10 minutes a day and start opening your heart, your stomach, and your turn on to feeling like a sexy bastard, then your reality is going to start to shift fast. So how does that work if you were to do that? Let's take a deeper look at that now. It's really simple is you, you sit down and the meditation is a meditation, but there's also releasing involved. So if you know how to do releasing, it's great. If you don't, you just kind of sit down and you follow along, but you're going to sit down and you're going to welcome, you're going to welcome all the things you see and feel about yourself. And these are going to change day to day. You might've started with that journal, but you're going to have to about every week or so you want to update it and see what's changing and just welcome and be with it and welcome how you feel about yourself all the heaviness, all the darkness, 
all the parts of yourself you don't like and just be with that for a little bit. Be with it as much as you can. And notice where you feel it in the body and just sit with your eyes closed, feeling that, asking your heart to open as much as it's willing. It's very important you open your heart because a closed heart makes it difficult to do these processes. It doesn't let anything in and out. So you even open the heart a little bit more if you can. It might hurt, but do that. And feel that internal self-image, at least the dark side of it, the side you don't like. Now I want you to welcome that part of yourself that you do like currently. Maybe it's 1%, maybe it's 20%, maybe it's 100%. That part of yourself you really like and just be with it and open your heart to that for a minute. And notice where that guy is feeling good. Is his heart blasted wide open? What about his stomach? What about his turn on? Can he, does he feel grounded? How good does he feel about himself? Just be. And then I want you to welcome the idea that you're a sexy bastard. And just sit with that for a moment and ask your heart to open ask your turn on to turn on which happens down in the hips and just be with that for a little bit welcome the idea you're a hella sexy bastard you feel really good about yourself you're turned on your heart's open you're vulnerable and that women are drawn to you like a magnet versus you chasing them they're pulled in they're curious about you they want to look at you and notice what that feels like and then whatever comes up from that if there's any resistance to it just ask yourself, can I just relax that part of my body where the resistance is and just let it go and just sit a little deeper in the idea I'm a sexy bastard. And then one more time, feel like you're a sexy bastard again. Invite that up, even if it's only 1% more. Don't, don't push it, just a little bit more. And picture the exact type of women that you want to date. The exact type of women you want to meet and see them enjoying you and seeing you as a sexy bastard. You're not trying to get their validation. They're just enjoying you and you could take them or leave them. You could let them go because you get your validation internally. So welcome that and then let that go. Let it go. Let them go. Let the image go and just be for a moment. Feel how good that feels. Now welcome again that dark part of yourself that's heavy that you don't like when you picture yourself out and around these beautiful women. Notice what that part of yourself feels like. Is your heart open or closed? Is it heavy or light? How does your stomach feel? How do your legs feel? Can you feel your back? Can you rest in your back like a man? Or does it feel tight and closed? Good. And then just let that go. Let your mind now drop it and wander to the part of yourself that feels like a true sexy bastard in general, that feels good about himself. Don't worry about the women, just in general. What part of yourself do you like? Do you feel really good about yourself in relation to women, in relationship to women in general, not just those beautiful women? Where do you feel that? Do you feel it in your heart? Do you feel it in your stomach? Do you feel it in your turn on? Do you feel it in your legs? And just notice what that feels like and be with that for a minute. And then notice if there's any part of yourself trying to manipulate this image, trying to change it, trying to make it into something else versus just accepting it exactly where it's at. If you feel a tiny bit super sexy, be with that. It'll grow. Don't worry. If you feel a lot, be with that. Just be honest. That's all it takes. And so if there's any part of you trying to change it or manipulate it or push it along, Ask yourself, can you just let that go? Can you drop it? And now I want you to allow that part of yourself that's more sexy to open up. See if you can reveal a deeper aspect of your sexiness to yourself. Allow yourself to reveal greater parts of yourself that are a beautiful, sexy human being, a sexy man. And notice what that feels like. And now let's go back to this part of yourself that's sitting in a space around these beautiful women that you want to date or woman and just welcome that feeling inside your body of feeling like you are truly attractive to these women. What does that feel like? These women are looking at you. They're curious. They're trying to talk to you. Maybe they're being coy. Maybe they're using some sexual communication, flirting, flirting signals, you know, playing to meet you. Just notice what they're like. Maybe one bumps into you. Maybe one says hi directly, but then kind of smiles and blushes and looks down. 
and feel that. Feel yourself grounding them. Rather than trying to get to them, grounding them, feeling them, appreciating you. And notice what that feels like. And welcome any part of that that feels good for now. Just notice what that feels like. Then ask yourself, can you let that go? Can you just drop that and just let it go? Because the key is in the art of letting it go. You can't totally own it if you can't let it go. So just let it go. And then let that reveal more truth to you. What are you realizing right now? Don't think about it analytically. Whatever comes up in the body, it might just be a feeling. What's being revealed to your body, to your nervous system, to your consciousness? And now as you again invite up that image of you those beautiful women enjoying you in whatever environment you're in and you feeling like this rock solid grounded sexy bastard notice again what that feels like and then notice any part of that that's heavy around these women this, these beautiful women looking at you but you're feeling maybe there's a part of you that's still heavy maybe it's a little bit in the heart or the turn on or the stomach the legs and just feel what that feels like and just welcome the heaviness. You can look right at it, you're a man. Welcome the doubt if there's doubt. Welcome the negative thinking if you're hearing negative thinking. And then you know what? Just ask yourself, are you trying to do anything with or about it? Can, and if you are, ask yourself to drop that. Just drop any part of you that's trying to manipulate your experience and just have it for a moment. You can handle it, you're a man. You can be with it. And then just drop that, drop it all. I know it's a little quick, but that's the idea. If you can move quickly and just let it go, it starts to, to break the neural pathway. So just drop it and open your heart to the moment again and be peaceful. No women at all, no sexy bastard, just in this moment with an open heart. And now one more time, let's move back to this image of you being a sexy, grounded, solid bastard in front of beautiful women and feel those beautiful women looking at you. Feel them around you. And then notice if that feels good or bad. And then this time I want you to go back to the image of it feeling heavy for a moment and feel any part of you, even if it's only 1% that feels heavy, that's not sure, that maybe has some self-doubting thoughts. Even if there's a lot of positivity, there's both parts always. And just welcome that for a minute. Notice if you're trying to manipulate it, trying to change it, and ask yourself to drop that. Just let it go and just be with it. Notice you can handle it and then drop it again. Just let it go and open your heart and feel like a sexy bastard again in front of these beautiful women, dropping that whole side. Just look right at them and see some woman or women just enjoying you being with you. And then welcome any part of yourself that feels powerful as a man, that feels bold, that feels sexy, that feels turned on, that knows he's an attractive, sexy man. And just be with that guy for a minute. And then allow your upper energy to expand, Allow it to open wider. Allow the vulnerability to run down your arms and in the throat. Feel your turn on in your stomach. Feel your grounding and just be with that for a minute as much as you can. If there's any resistance, just gently relax that part of your body. Allow it to soften. And again, open up some more and then allow it to soften some more and open up some more and some more and then open up some more. And sometimes I go fast on purpose because I want to see if your mind can move with me quickly rather than trying to think about how to do this. Just gently pop. So now, as I say that, welcome the part of you, any part of you that doesn't feel like a sexy bastard. Just look right at him for a minute in front of these beautiful women. And then welcome any part of you that does feel like a sexy bastard and knows he's a sexy bastard. And then let that go and go back to the part of you that doesn't. And then notice how fast you can let that go and go back to the part of you that does. And then let that expand a little bit, be with it. And then just drop that and let it go and go back to the part of you that does it. And then one more time, drop it, drop it, just let it go, don't think about it. You go to the other one and they let it expand, be with it for a minute. And then just drop it all and just be. Be a man that enjoys himself. He doesn't even need a woman in his life. He can just sit at the park, be out on the street, walking around, and he feels like a grounded, solid man, whether there's a woman giving him validation or not. Because the key in the end is that when you truly start to feel like a solid man, whether you're getting validated or not, you don't need a woman anymore. They're gonna start coming to you. So just let that in, let that idea in. And now with that said, just let it all go. Let it all wash away and just be. 
Now that's perfect. So I hope you guys enjoyed that release. It was a, a little bit longer video today because of the release at the end and the reveal, the revealing, because let it's all revealing stuff to you. And that's ultimately what I want you to pay attention to, what's being revealed to you with these releases. Um, and I hope you're getting a lot of value out of this. And I definitely want to hear comments on this video. Also remember to like, remember to subscribe, remember to, uh, again, put some comments in, remember to share, help us grow the channel. We're on a race to get to that uh, 100,000 subscribers. I know we'll get there, but the faster we get there, the more awesome content we can bring to you like this. And with that said, uh, I'm going to say two, two this time. Remember, only the confident really live. And what would you do if you were fearless? Or what would you do if you were a sexy bastard and you knew it? <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next video.